Hello and welcome to Kenway's tutorial of the editor. This is Kenway, also known as Petal Bear in DayZ, and this is my little explanation for the clan Inglorious Bastards. Now, if you're watching this and you're not from Inglorious Bastards, if you need help on the editor, you're more than welcome to watch, as I'm not going to <laughs> profit my YouTube videos, it's too much of a hassle. Anyway, you saw how I clicked on multiplayer from the main menu. Make sure that you have DayZ and all of your add-ons selected. You're now in the network games. Go to new. And this is your name for your server. Pedal Bear. Keep it simple. This is what your friends are going to be searching for. You might also want to create a password. Little girls only. Yes. Okay, so if you want a landline um, you're more than welcome, but you won't be able to have your friends friends play unless they're actually connected to your landline. So you go ahead and switch this to internet if you want your friends to play, or if you want to just play by yourself. Whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Click OK, and it's creating your map for you. Um, so this is your create game section. Here are your maps. This is the Chinaris map. However, if you do have Lingor installed, you can go ahead and and use that as well. I'm going to be uh, staying with Chinaris since this is mostly what people will be using. Go to your new editor and double left click on that. This is your map. You can go over to wherever you want. You can use a scroll wheel, mouse wheel to scroll in and out. You can use your right uh, mouse button to click, hold, and drag around. And you can use your left to place units and do other stuff. Now on the right side of the screen you see that you have units, groups, triggers, waypoints. So far in this tutorial I'm only going to go over units, groups, and waypoints. Also the save button, clear button clears everything. Yep, doesn't do anything because I don't have anything down, but whatever. So you're going to want to go to units, you can press F1 if you want, doesn't matter. Double left click on the screen and this is your insert unit, this is your unit menu. So basically you're going to want it to have blue 4, you're going to want to go down to US or some other uh, faction that has a class of men so that you can have someone, you know, place it down. I'm going to actually go to what? What has something nice? Here we go. BAF men and AS50 sniper. Ha! <laughs> so you want to click OK and that sets your unit down. Now, if you double click on this unit, you'll bring back the same menu and allow you to edit it. Now, under Control, you want to change change that to Playable. Now, if you hold Control and press C while you have your cursor over this character that allows you to copy it, Control V on anywhere else will place a copy of that per, of that uh, player. So you can do whatever you want. Also, if you're hovering over the player and you press Delete, that deletes the character as well. I'm going to go ahead and create these all playable. Therefore, I can have four friends join. Or if I have multiple people, multiple people on here and one of them dies, uh, you can respawn as one of these guys. You can drag and select all of them and move them all like this, and you can place them inside hangers, whatever you want. You know, it doesn't matter. Right here, I'm going to create some weapons in case I get tired of those sniper uh, guns. To do that, you're going to want to change the control to non-playable. Go up to your side, go down to empty. Then you have your class, you can go down to ammo, and all the way down to, let's see, um, Russian Special Weapons. I'm going to copy this, place a couple of them down here in front, and I'm going to name them as, what, Launchers, Russian Basic Ammunition, Russian Basic, basic Weapons, and Russian what vehicle weapons or ordnance I don't know I don't give a fuck <laughs> so this is mainly for you to get a hang of the helicopter so let me go over that next what you want to do is go to op4 it's the easiest way to get to it you have the class air you want to control as non playable you want the unit it's the only choice UH1H. This is the Huey that you find in game in DayZ, the only flyable vehicle as of now. And there it is. Press Control C, you copy it, and place a couple of them down. You're going to want them to be a bit numerous since you're going to be 
uh, breaking a lot of these things. So make sure you have a ton of them. It doesn't matter how many you put. Just make sure that they're a bit away from each other so they don't make contact when you're trying to take off. So be sure to space them out at least a tiny bit so you don't run into any problems that way. Now, if you do want a bit of fun, if you're, if you're getting bored of flying your helicopter and landing on the ground, you can go ahead and create some hostile players. So you, to do that, you go to Op4, you go to Faction, let's see, uh, Tekistani milit uh, Militia, you have the AK-47 Militia Man, and we can place that guy down here. You copy him, create a few buddies for him, like so. And you go to groups. As you select groups, you can drag from one character to the next these little lines. And those lines will demonstrate uh, will show as um as a group. So you have one guy as a captain, let's say have this guy as a as a major. As you see, all of them will switch to the major as in uh, armor 2, the highest in command gets the highest um, uh, you know, behavior. So I'm going to go ahead and have the control as non-playable. So these guys are a group here. Now what I can do is I can control and copy this group somewhere else. As you can see, <clears throat> oops, let me have this guy back in. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Go down to waypoints. Now what you want to do is hold shift and click on one of these guys. What that will do is select the entire group if you hold shift. So you shift, click on one of these guys, and click off, double click in the distance. That will uh, set a waypoint for that um, group. So what you want to do is you want to have it move. You can set it wherever you want. I'm going to have, um, what, sentry, okay? combat mode, open fire, engage at will. I'm going to have formation, wedge, speed, normal, behavior, safe. And you can change that however you want. Like I said, hold shift and click on the group. Double click on where you want them to go. And then you can set up the commands and how they're going to get there. And these I'm just going to set, you know, just as a little bit different than before, I guess doesn't matter. Anyway, that's how you set up enemies, that's how you place vehicles, that's how you place ammo crates and characters. You can go through all of these and try to learn more if you want. I'm going to go ahead and go down to, what is it, independent, nope, ambient life, nope, citizen, there we go. So I can go to air, I have a couple of different options here. There we go. So if you go to Civilian, Ternaris, Cars, there you have all the vehicles that we normally get in the game. Um, there may be some of these that aren't offered in the game. I don't know. doesn't matter. Have fun with these, whatever you want. I'm going to have the UAZ Militia, I guess. <laughs> Place that down here. doesn't matter. Um, but there you go. You have that car. So... I'm going to go ahead and save this as, you know, whatever, doesn't matter, and I can go ahead and exit. This creates the map, so wherever I saved it as, shit, I do not know, did I save it as this one? I don't know, whatever. Play, click on one of the guys, click OK, ignore the background, bad vehicle, it doesn't matter. You know, that shit comes up all the time. Receiving. Awesome. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I'm in-game. I'm underneath the chopper. There are my replacement characters. And these little bastards are coming to get me. Well, that concludes my, concludes my tutorial on the editor. Hope you guys have fun with that shit. And I guess I will see you in-game or whatever. Fuck it.